Back on Minnesota's Lake of the Woods, blasting off from the south shore out of Arneson's Rocky Point Resort. I'm Roger Cormier, folks, and along with Captain Tim Hill, we're gonna show you walleyes and maybe some saugers on Minnesota's Lake of the Woods. Folks, we just shut the main engine off <laughs> and I just climbed up here on the bow mount to start pulling spinners for Lake of the Woods walleyes and I was dropping a two and a three quarter ounce bell sinker on the three-way rig that I like to run my spinners on down to the bottom. And I stopped about halfway because I wanted to get the boat positioned downwind to start running. And this little sucker ate while the spinner was dropping to the bottom of the lake. I mean, I was just holding it over the side of the boat. I wasn't, we're in 33 feet of water, 28 feet of water, 28 feet of water. <laughs> and I don't think I was 15 feet down and we got a nice sauger right off the, right off the bat. So. That is pretty cool and very unusual. A double. No kidding. A double. That'll take us off a constant on the Minkota there. Wind's got a little bit more heft to him. He's trying to run a little bit. Oh yeah, that's a beauty. Nice double. Nice double to start us out. Show you the blade I'm throwing here. I got a little, just a little hammered gold, mostly green beads on there, two hook crawler harness. Front hook right through the tip of the crawler and back hook about half or three quarters of the way back. And then when that's in the water, that crawler will stretch out. And I'm running a three-way, the old Wolf River rig from back in the day. It's just a little three-way swivel. And I got about an 18-inch dropper to about two and a half or two and three-quarter ounce bell sinker. And then I'm running an eight-foot uh, St. Croix Avid medium rod. It's a bait casting rod with a Shimano Corrado on it. You got 10 pound suffix siege on there. And it's a great rod for trolling that heavy sinker at 1.2 miles an hour. Well, this bite is so consistent out here in the basin, huh? Yeah, I mean, you get fish spread out. Once you find them schools, you can do pretty good. Pretty easy to find bites. Another nice slot. We'll have them in the Rock Harbor Lodge tonight. There's a fish fry. A little better one here, Tim. Bigger ones mixed in with some eaters. Yeah. Another nice, perfect slot for, well, depending on what you call a slot, right? A pure, it's kind of funny. On Lake of the Woods, a lot of people on Lake of the Woods call the slot, the protected slot, which is 19 and a half to 28 inches. Those fish all go back and the little eater guys go in the frying pan at night. On Lake of the Woods, uh, in the summertime, you're allowed six fish to take home per person. No more than four of those can be walleyes. So you could have uh, six saugers if you're into the saugers, but otherwise typically four, four walleyes, two saugers, that's your limit. That one just stopped the rod on it, set the hook, Tim. It's it looks like a good hit. Yeah, you know, you wanna just do a sweep set. You always fish your spinners horizontal or even pointed down towards the water a little bit, not up in the air, and then when when they bite, you just drop your rod tip back, take the weight off of the sink, the, the lure with the sinker, and then sweep set them. I did that, and this one just stopped the rod. Leaders, hey, it's just a decent one, not a monster, but we like those. Man, he hit hard. Get that thing gobbled. There's that little blade again. You know, just a little flicker in there. Those, that hammered pattern gives off a lot more flash and usually silver works pretty, pretty good here. Imitates those bait fish. You know, sometimes they'll want a bigger blade. I think they're, a lot of these guys are out there eating bugs as well as minnows. Hey, we got a double. Full service marina here at Arneson's Rocky Point Resort. Concrete boat ramp, gas, ice, bait, everything you need to take care of your boat. Uh, there's plenty of dock space there, although most people pull their boats out at night and park them by the cabins. Charter boats are a great option. You can either go on the dining plan and enjoy meals in the Rock Harbor Lodge or bring your own groceries and beverages. All of the cabins have full kitchens in them with all the cookware and utensils so you can do your own cooking when you're up here fishing. Here at Rocky Point, we have uh, five charter boats with charter captains that we can uh, take you out fishing in. Um, it eliminates a lot of the hassle because of all the tackle, all the rods, all the bait, and obviously a fishing guide is available to you. So all you gotta do is show up, bring your beverage, food, get on the boat, and go out fishing. 
So you can see that the south basin of the Lake of the Woods is just a vast expanse, and as you zoom in, there's a few reefs right in front of Arneson's, and we're just out here in the basin in no man's land, and you can see our track today. Caught quite a few fish going back and forth on that angle, and then we've roamed out here in the open basin and just kind of meandering throughout, marking fish all along the way and catching fish all along the way. That was a fun fishing day, huh, Tim? Yeah, we caught a ton of fish. I think if we would have kept our legal limit fish right off the bat, we would have been done in less than two hours. Yeah, a good thing we threw a bunch back. <laughs> if you'd like to catch a bunch of fish too, arnesons.com is the website, or 1-800-535-7585 to plan your trip to Minnesota's Lake of the Woods and Arneson's Rocky Point Resort. With Captain Tim Hill, I'm Roger Cormier. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors.